Hey fart faces, it's Bev B. Today we're going to be kitting up Honey Mermaid by Simona Candini and it is Diamond Art Club kit. It measures 56 by 71 centimeters. There's a lot of color blocking. It's actually only 25 colors. We're going to be using these containers. I just got them from the dollar store here in my city and there's 14 compartments, so seven and seven. And I bought four of them, so for a total of 56 containers, I believe, if I can do math. This is what the label says in case you're interested. Um, I think other companies make ones that are similar to this. When I bought them though, I so I have one that's open here. When I bought them, I was under the impression that you could separate them, so I thought that these would come apart so you didn't have to have them as rows, but I guess they don't come apart. And then you can see here on the wall here, there's no, or on the edge here, there's not like a slit here, so they don't come apart. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with them. The lids, some of them are kind of janky, so you'll see like there's... I don't know if you can tell, but there's a space in between here. Um, but for $3, not so bad for a kidding up option. So we're gonna try these. I have two of them open and we're going to be doing Honey Mermaid, like I said, so let's get started. So I'm just going to cut along here. Do this don't actually need that part. Usually when I kit up DAC Diamond Art Club paintings, I don't actually keep the numbers, but I'm thinking just for this one, because it's only 25, I might just keep the numbers and keep it simple. I usually just work off the symbols, but let's try it with the numbers. So what I'm going to do is We'll open up our drills. Looks like there's going to be a lot of stricken colors. So, let's see. It'll be interesting because there'll be a lot of certain colors, but I can, because I have so many of these containers, maybe I'll use three of these for one color, that type of thing, because there will be extra, obviously. Let's take a look and see. So actually, I think what would be best if we don't use the numbers at all. So I take it back. We're not going to use the numbers. So what I'm going to do to make kitting up easier, and this is an older Diamond Art Club kit, so it doesn't have the perforated, um, what is it, the perforated stickers. If you buy a Diamond Art Club now, these actually come pre-cut and then you just have to peel them off, but this one isn't like that. So what I do is, if I can get it, come on, come on. So what I do is I peel it up a little bit and then I just take my scissors and I run it between the backing and the sticky part and then I just cut off the number. I'm sure there's a different way to do this, but this is just the way that I do it. I found that it's easiest for me. So then we have just the numbers cut off. We don't need them anymore. And then what I can do is go through here and cut it off. Not all the way off, but you want to leave it so it's like a tab at least so that the, most of them stay together. So there we have them all tabbed out. So now it's easier for me to rip them off when the time comes to use the label. So let's get started and we'll see which ones. So Diamond Art Club organizes the drills by drill quantity, so you'll see that this has the, the least amount of color, or least amount of drills for this color, and then it slowly increases. So what I always do is I start with the larger colors first, like these ones, um, but I'm actually not going to do that. I'm going to start kitting up with the smaller ones first, 
because then we can see how many of these empty boxes we have left over. So we'll do that first. So let's use 141. And then I just simply come over here, take away 141, peel that off, and we'll put it, we'll put it here. And I'm going to keep, like instead of putting the label the opposite way, I'm going to keep them all facing the, the same way. Just so when they're laying on my table, it's easier for me to find them. Let's put that in there. And then, what's next? 15 minutes later. Okay, let's do a... Okay, so one drill just fell out. Well, let's move this stuff out of the way and let's do a pour test to see how easy it is to use these. We'll take our basic white tray and we will use some uh, drills from this. So it's fairly easy to pour out and then to pour back in, just need to do that. So yeah, I think this will actually work out pretty well. Besides the fact that some of them have, like you can see on this orange one, the lid doesn't sit perfectly flush with the edge here, so some may spill out. And there are some drills that are in the middle. I don't know, we'll see if this, if these containers are fails or not, but this is what we accomplished today. And now I can work and now I can get to work on my diamond painting. So thank you so much for keeping me company while I was kidding up. 15 minutes later. So I finished Honey Mermaid. That will be coming in a um, finished diamond painting video that I'm gonna be filming soon. But I wanted to share my experience with the containers. They were pretty good to work with. Um, one thing that I did notice was that a lot of them were not sealed properly. So if I just go like this, Oh, now you don't want to do it? No. So if I just go like that, some fell, fall out. So while I was working on the diamond painting, it's mostly just these, but while I was working on the diamond painting, instead of pouring them out into my tray like this, I would actually go like this and then a hair, a rogue bev hair. I would go like this and then pour them out that way. Um, it was hard for me to remember sometimes what color I was just working on. So I ended up leaving open the tab so that I could remember where which uh, container to pour the drills back into. So I don't know if I like these containers. I mean, I like them, but I don't know if they're something that I'm gonna reuse to regularly kit up because of the drill pouring issue and I was kind of like, ooh, I don't want to leave it open because what if I accidentally spill the container and it goes onto the floor, then all of those drills in the container that's open will fall out. But my main issue with them is the fact that some of them aren't closed or sealed properly. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see there is like a little bit of space between the wall and the lid, so that's where the drills are falling out of. Um, but overall, like these are actually a really good set if you have um, 56 colors. Like, and let's see how these peel off. So these are the Diamond Art Club labels, the old labels. They peel off pretty well, they don't leave a residue. I don't think I'm gonna save the drills from this kit. I literally think I'm going to toss them into my jar and move on with my life just cause I'm tired of saving drills. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would recommend these containers, but the only thing is, cause I mean, they were $3 or $3.50 or something for just one of these containers. So it was really affordable, but I would just recommend if you're going to get them, 
you would have to go like this when you're pouring out your drills instead of dumping them because drills will fall out and then you'll be sad because it feels like you're just wasting drills and trying to find which color they belong to is annoying. So I don't know. If you have a dollar store near you, go and check them out. They're in the craft section. I really think that these are pill bottles because there's seven in a row and there's braille marks here. So that leads me to believe that maybe the braille marks are like Monday, Tuesday or MTW, that type of thing. I don't know. I don't read braille, but um, overall a good container for the price. So if you see these, I would recommend picking them up, but again, just be wary because of the lid not sitting properly or covering the entire section. That's all I have to say in this video. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I post new videos on a regular basis, and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye!